There is the Java code that matches up with it. All I did was I translated that previous program into Java. Kind of interesting. Instead of, instead of using a label, I use system out prints because we haven't studied labels in Java yet. Okay, three. That three flies down field as a parameter and plugs into, I bet it's the variable, I bet it's a parameter named num. Yep, right here it is. It plugs in the num. So num, you might want to keep track of num here, it's three. And three plus five is eight, and eight gets returned because of the use of the word return. And it plugs in here for our answer to number one, eight. Hey, let's do a complicated one, and then you can do the rest for homework. Uh, oh, look at this. Max 112, max 932. Let's do that one. You can call a method that's sort of nested inside of another call statement, but you have to work from inside the parentheses out. So let's do that here in problem number whatever this is. 9, 3, and 2 go to the to the function max. Oh, I, I said function. I meant to say method. 932, 932, 932. The 932 plug in here for uh, x, y, and z in this particular uh, instance. You might want to be a goody two-shoes here and keep track of everything. Some of you can do this in your head. So others can't. Uh, we haven't studied if statements yet in Java, but it's pretty much the same as last year in VB. This is the this is the word and here. So if uh, x is greater than y, which it is, greater than or equal to, and if x is greater than or equal to z, which it is, a true and with a true makes an overall true. So therefore, we return x, which happens to be this nine, and we do not go down any further. We don't trace. Uh, because of the way an if-else-if works, we never hit this line of code or this return or this return. They only apply if uh, we had gotten a false. So the 9, the x, 9, gets returned back up to wherever we came from. So very carefully, you might want to like line this out and treat that as a 9. But 9 is now the third parameter of an outer call statement where max with the parameters 1, 12, and 9 are all passed down to that same reusable method. I'll let it up to you to, to trace that, but I bet 12 ends up coming back up because 12 is the max value there, if it works correctly with no logic mistakes. So 12 is going to end up overwriting all of this, and that 12 finds itself in print ln, so uh, 12 ends up being the answer there. Now, don't assume that I uh, have, you know, logic-free code here. I could have logic mistakes that if you don't trace stuff like this, uh, you get the wrong answer. So always trace everything carefully and completely. On the AP exam, they like to put logic bugs in uh, code segments. And, and even though a method is named one thing, it might not work the way it's advertised. Good luck.